morning, friends, and happy Friday. Um, it has been a long time. <laughs> Life has been chaos completely just chaos and that's just life this year between two kids at home being pregnant with our third 21 kids in person two virtual kids covid going on like i'm over it <laughs> i'm so over it but we're gonna make it we only have what like 44 more days, 45 more days, something like that left in the school year, five, nine more weeks. So we can do this. Um, let's see, I had a sub yesterday. My two-year-old caught a stomach bug from daycare and I had to take off for like the millionth day this year for my kids being sick, but it's okay. Um, so I'm going to kind of catch up from that. I had a note from my sub this morning, which is always fun, that said, one little boy, we're just gonna call him Joe, because I don't have any Joes in my classroom. Joe would not do anything during mass stations, so I told him to get a piece of paper and write his sight words. He started to stomp his feet and yell, I don't wanna do that, and would not do what I asked him to do. Yay! So I get to deal with that this morning, which I hate doing because I feel like every kid should have a fresh start every day. But if I'm not here to handle the situation the way I would handle it, I can't just leave it like that because I can't have them thinking it's okay to treat a sub that way because it's not. So I get to deal with that this morning, which will probably set our whole day on a fun note. But um, if my aide is in here this morning, my kids will go to the computer lab. Um, and then we have, we're doing Laura Numeroff, and I believe today is if you give a dog a donut, so that's fun. And then, for math, we're doing addition, so we may do like a fun little craft with a donut and sprinkles, like an addition problem sentence. And then, what else? It's pretty much it. I need to catch up with my group, so I normally meet with my during my daily five time, I meet with my, which I don't do daily five in a traditional sense. Um, I do it in a little bit of a different way, but it's always worked wonderful for me, and I haven't had any problems, especially with behavior. My kids are usually pretty on it during station time. But um, I usually meet with my tier three group, which is my highest level of intervention kids. I meet with my tier two group, which is just my lower kids but they do interventions in our classroom and then I meet with an additional group to do a guided reading group and so I missed my groups yesterday um so I missed oh yesterday was just tier tier three and tier two so I'll meet with them today and then I will also meet with my orange group um I have a ridiculous number of tier three students this year just because well all of them every single one of them was virtual at some point this school year before deciding to return to in-person learning because we've been in person all year and then families had the option to be virtual if they would rather be virtual than come in person and so all of these tier three kids were virtual at some point um, a majority of them came back after the first nine weeks or after the first, like, week. Um, but they're still struggling. And so I have a huge group of kiddos that are not where they need to be reading-wise. And so to make up for that, I chose to – I already met with my Tier 3 group daily. But now I meet with my Tier 2 group daily. And then my aide also meets with them. So, like – while I'm meeting with my tier three, she's meeting with my tier two kids to do a sight word, work on sight words, and then we switch. And she has my tier three and I have the tier two, so they're getting 30 minutes during that daily um, five time of one-on-one um, -on -one instruction. So um, I meet with them. I, might, I have a large number of ESL students because they were virtual at the beginning of the year and our school thought it would be best if they kind of, those families only had one teacher to communicate with and they were all getting the same information from one teacher rather than having, 
you know, because not that me or the other teachers do anything differently, but we just communicate things differently, or we might, you know, kind of handle things a little bit differently. And if they, these families that already have trouble understanding, um, because a majority of them, um, if they're not in school, they're in Mexico. And so um, it just helps to have one person for them to communicate with. Um, what else? So in order to help them out, because they're really struggling with vocabulary. So like they can read books so fluently, but once they get to like an unknown word, like um, leaf or bicycle or helmet, things like that, um, they struggle. And that's what is dropping their reading score so much. And so in order to accommodate that, I added 20 additional minutes of intervention time for them. So I meet with them 10 minutes during our morning work time in the mornings when they first come to school and then I meet with them for 10 minutes at the end of the day because I have them, they're bus riders. And so our bus riders, we have about like 15 minutes with them after the car riders leave are picked up. So, cause our aides come and get our car riders and get them in cars while we have the bus riders. Um, so I'm using that time to um, work with them and do a little ESL lesson. Um, the ESL teacher gave me this fun game. It is called um, Picture Week, and it's so fun. So they have these little pictures, and then they have to say, like, I want the turtle. And their goal is to make a line from one side all the way to the other side of the board, and they love it. And it's so much fun. Um, and such a simple thing for them to identify like we worked on was a couple of the words that they didn't know oh um a clock they said was a tick tock which I mean of course yes um we worked on identifying it as a clock and then a motorcycle one of them wanted a motorcycle and didn't know how to say it and then there was something else but I don't remember what it was the sun they wanted uh, to say it in Spanish soul and so we worked on the English word sun um, and so we've been playing that a lot and then probably like next week I'll switch it up and do a different game with them um, I need to add those to my Amazon wish list so that I can remember them let's see that's about it I'm gonna try and get ready for this morning and get everything set up and good to go and I'll catch up with you later on. So I might show a little clip or something of us playing the um, picture it game later, we'll see. But I'll catch up with you later, friends. Bye. Okay, let's go over our words and then we will get going. Ready? All right, what word is this? Out. Out. What word is this? Oh. Of. What? what? Good job. Man, y'all been practicing. Okay, I'm going to mix them up. Mix them, mix them, mix them. Because it's out. It's the same word we already did. The rabbit, good job. The rabbit. Well, you found it fast, good job. There's the rabbit. The rabbit, good job. All right, your turn. Miss Green. Your turn. Say I. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed all of the footage today and I will catch up with you next time. As always, like and subscribe if you love my channel. Remember that you're the best teacher for your littles and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Bye, friends.